how do you feel that you've grown as a quarterback from the start of the season or prior to the Akron game being out to where you are now, a Heisman finalist? Yeah, I'm definitely blessed. I mean, I can be here, especially with our guy, but my family and then my teammates. I mean, I'm around great players and great coaches every day, so I mean, that definitely helps. But honestly, I didn't really see a flip of the switch. I kind of, I've always been playing the same. It's just uh, the games are kind of different towards the end, so. There's a lot of noise prior to Akron about uh, you guys pride yourself on, on shutting out the noise, but did you hear the noise of people in Columbus maybe questioning whether or not you were the guy? I mean, how did, and if you did, how do you try and get past that? Uh, honestly, I really didn't see it too much. I mean, I was really focused just on getting better as a team, winning football games, and uh, you can't really listen to dudes like that because, I mean, people will switch on you like anything, so you got to really focus on uh, God, family, and then, of course, your teammates and, and coaches. So uh, that's what I tried to do, and I really wasn't really focused on the, on the outside noise because it really didn't, doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, honestly, I feel like I was playing the same as I did. It's just like in that Minnesota game, we only had what I want to say nine possessions with the football. Like it's hard to to to, to win games against running teams, so and, and score a whole bunch of points and have a whole bunch of yardage. So, and then the Oregon game, of course, we were um, playing catch up kind of the whole game. So, uh, but like I feel like we were still playing well as offense. I mean, the numbers kind of speak for themselves. So, I don't really think I really like played differently. I just think that. In certain games, you play, uh, you play, you're playing against your opponent. So if a team wants to run the ball and hold the ball, it's gonna hard, it's gonna be hard to score against those limited possessions. So I don't really think I played differently. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been watching Bryce ever since uh, we probably been in like the seventh grade in middle school, and I've always been impressed on how he plays, like the way he moves in the pocket. Uh, the zip that he has on the ball. I mean, he, he has a, a great touch. I mean, you see him throw the ball, he throws an effort, throw without effort. So uh, I'm definitely uh, in all of his game. I'm a student of his game. I try to watch him to get my game better. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely impressed. We all talk about that Heisman moment that a player may have. Do you feel that you had a Heisman moment this year on the field, that one play that just would go up number one on your clip reel? Um, I feel like if the it didn't count, uh, it got taken away because it was a holding call. But I had a, a good run against uh, uh, Michigan uh, at the end of the game, and I feel like if that would have counted, maybe the momentum of that, and I think that kind of got my team up off their feet and gave us some juice. I feel like maybe if that counted, we could have came back. But I mean, I think that would have been it. Man, it would be a dream come true, man. I, I definitely. Uh, I've been dreaming about this since I've been a little kid, and I, I would definitely uh, just be honored to have it. You know what I mean? So I think not only just have it, but I feel like if I if I were to get it, I would I earned it. You know what I mean? So uh, I was it was definitely not easy for me to get here, and I, I had to scratch and crawl just to be up here. So I'm really not only just proud of myself, but proud of like my family sticking around, my my teammates, and things like that. Can you give us some insight into what you might be wearing tomorrow night? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I have a, a, a custom suit made uh, by my guy Rick out in Austin, Texas. And it's like a it's a, a dark blue with red stripes. Uh, on the inside, it has like the all the former Heismans. Uh, so, yeah, it's really sweet, and um, uh, I'm excited to wear it. I worked with him on it. Yeah, he, it was his idea, and I, I kind of approved it, and uh, I love it. Yeah, it's really nice. If you had to go to someone on your team for fashion advice ahead of an event like this, who has the most drip that you can go see? Ah, uh, I would say a former teammate. He's at Bama now, but Jamison Williams, he can dress. Yeah, for sure. That's my dog right there. He can dress. Uh, somebody on my team now, uh, man, I would say probably, probably, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to bust my, my ego up, but I will probably say Mayan Williams. He dressed pretty, he dressed pretty well. Yeah, our running back. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we're all human beings here, you know what I'm saying? Football is a game, and I think it's it's, it's the right thing to do, and it's a professional thing to do is just to leave a game in a game, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he's a great player, but just meeting him now, you can tell he's a great dude, comes from a great family. So, I mean, I have nothing but respect for him and uh, his game, so. How much better does your shoulder feel now than September? 
It feels a lot better, uh, a whole lot better. Yeah, for sure. Uh, just it gets better and better. Just doing rehab with our trainers like Sean, Solo, Tyler, uh, Stu. Uh, those type guys, man. Uh, their names don't really get mentioned, but they're like the backbones of our uh, our team. Yeah, I've been. I'll be on the. Excuse me. I'll be in there every day. Uh, I'll go in the morning and then come back and practice. So uh, definitely had a strict routine of just getting right. Uh, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you. It's a lot of stuff. It's like, I, I don't know, like, the exact names. I'll butcher the names. But it's like a lot of band work, um, a lot of massages, trying to get the muscle right, a lot of ro rotator cuff work, trying to get that back strong. So a lot of things like that. I think those are the great terms. Yeah. Both, both practices gotten underway. Did Coach Dennis and Coach Day get sent you here to New York for some homework? Oh, yeah, for sure. I got, I got a lot of film to watch. Uh, definitely trying to get up on Utah. Uh, good team right there. Do a lot of good things and definitely not taking them lightly. Nah, just AC joint, you don't, uh, unless it's super bad, you don't need the surgery. So um, thank God I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah, he uh, he definitely does a good job of trying to just give you your space and, and let you try to uh, figure things out. Um, it, it was uh, one of his ideas. It was actually really my mom's idea to, for me to sit out, but he was the one who kind of approved it and was like, "Yeah, you probably need to," because it's just you can just tell like in the game, like that Tulsa game, I, I was throwing the ball and I was like hanging my arm because like, it was hurting so bad, and like he just seen that he was like he he actually appreciated me even still playing. So I mean, but he appreciated me doing that and he. he uh, we decided that I need to rest, so uh, he really helped me with that. You seem like a planner. Do you get some notes together just in case for a speech, in case you're holding up the trophy at the end, or do you just wing it? No, nah, I ain't going to wing it. I, I definitely don't want to uh, forget anybody that I, I should thank. or uh, Of course, all my glory and praise is going to God first. So, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I would probably write something down. I, I am. I, I already have some stuff, but not nothing crazy. I'm going to hold y'all too long. If I get it, I'm not sure. A lot of people do. <laughs> this is college football. Like that, uh, Bryce got J Mo, Meet, uh, Match. He got a lot of dudes. You know what I'm saying? He got uh, Billingsley. He got a whole bunch of dudes. I know uh, Kenny has a lot of guys. Like when you playing this game, like you gonna play with good players in college football. It's kind of like what you get. Like you look at Baker. He had C D Lamb. He had Joe Burrow. Had Justin Jefferson. He had um, Jamar Chase. Two first round receivers. So I mean, it's not the first time this happened. You know what I mean? So. If I, if I didn't do my job, then, it would, then they wouldn't be good. You know what I mean? So kind of just the truth. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's all good. By any chance, did you watch the Pac-12 championship at all? Do you have an early assessment of Utah? Yeah, I did. I, I watched it not only on TV, but also on, on, on film. You know, they do a lot of good things, uh, a lot of uh, different type of blitzes off the edge. They like to bring four to a side. So definitely have to uh, watch out for things like that. I know he's from Cali. He's from around my area. Uh, I've seen him play a couple times in high school. Probably played him a couple times seven on seven, but I really didn't know him too much personally. But uh, I know he was committed to us. I'm not sure uh, any more than that, though. You guys were never on like a visit at the same time or anything? Nah, I, I've never seen him. It was, I think he decommitted by the time I had uh, signed to go to Ohio State. I mean, I'm playing at home, so I mean, I definitely, uh, that's probably my motivation right there. But at the end of the day, I mean, you, anytime I step on the field, I'm trying to dominate. I'm trying to do my thing. So I'm not out there just to have laughs and giggles in an ex expedition game, whatever that means. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm out there to play. You know what I mean? What was the message that uh, Coach Day shared with the team after that hard loss to Michigan? 
Uh, I don't really want to talk about that. Yeah, you know, I think that's personal for our team. Yeah, you got definitely, if you care about the game of football, you have feelings for it, you're going to care. And I'm going to watch it because, I mean, I have a lot of friends playing, a lot of uh, former teammates, so uh, I'm, I'm not tripping. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to support. Um, I'm going I'm to I'm study it. So maybe next year if we get there, uh, I can learn from something, learn from a mistake or two, and, and try to go do it myself. The Rose Bowl may be the last time that you play with Chris and Garrett. You may have already played the last game with Chris and Garrett. Just talk about that relationship that you with them, that bond with those, those guys. Yeah, they've all like ever since I stepped in since day one, they had trust and belief in me, and uh, I, I really appreciate that, man. Because I mean, you see what type of players they are, like man, why you trust me? You know what I mean? And just for Chris to come back, like that was like the, the biggest confidence booster for me, and he really had the most trust in me for real. So, I mean, I would love to play with them again, but I mean, I think they got to do what's best for them. Uh, not really. I've always been like that since I've been a kid. Uh, I've always been a student of the game, loved it, uh, appreciated like, everything that went on with it. So, I mean, I, no one really like, like CJ watched this. I kind of probably watched it and probably told them to watch it. So, I don't know. I, I like watching film. No, nah, not really. I mean, I, I know they probably have like the, uh, the, the record. I think last year, even though I wasn't starting, I was like top three in film watching. Uh, on the team last year. I don't, I'm not sure what my numbers were this year, but I, I was watching film more in the facility this year because we weren't we didn't have COVID, and we weren't we didn't have to be at home the whole time. So it was a lot of stuff I was doing in building. How did they, how did they keep track of three years? I'm not sure. They got like they got like a stat like that they can I guess pull from the iPads, and they I don't know it's technology. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you you can also not just watch college football of your games. You can watch anybody in the country any game that week. You can watch any NFL game that prior like if you come in on Monday, that game that played on Sunday that you watched on TV, it's in. So like you can learn from like guys that you look up to. Like I watch Patrick Mahomes a lot. Uh, I watch Tom Brady a lot on film. Like just watching their footwork, watching how they how they make calls and stuff, how they come up to the line. Those are all things I learn from. Thank you. So much. Thank you.